New at 4 o'clock, if you're looking for a new home, you might be in luck. According to Las Vegas Realtors, we're in what they call a balanced market, which can be good news for both the buyer and the seller. 8 News Now's Brian Will breaks down what that means for you. What do you guys think? The buyer's actually in a better position now because prices have stabilized and in some cases gone down more. Lee Barrett has been in the real estate business for over 40 years. He's seen a lot and says the housing market is starting to correct itself. It's what we call a balanced market. Doesn't favor the seller, doesn't favor the buyer. It's actually a really good market for all people because it doesn't favor either party. While the market is balanced right now, that doesn't mean you should be taking your time putting in that offer or if you're the seller waiting for the best price. The market may be cooling off, but it's not slowing down. I believe that we're not going to see another dip because we are going into the spring market and that will go ahead and give us an increase of buyers coming into the marketplace. When compared to last year, home prices are down 2%. The amount of houses on the market are up almost 200% and the amount of days houses are staying on the market is almost 90 days compared to less than 60 in 2022. But the tough news for buyers is the average interest rate according to bank rate is 6.8% versus 3% last year. Because the one variable is always interest rates. So if you got a lower price and you had to pay a little bit higher interest rate and interest rates go, when they go back down, you can take the opportunity to refinance your home and get that lower interest rate. As for sellers, your best advice is to sell when it's right for you. The sellers are more in a position to be favorable to two one buy downs and other things that would help the buyer get into the property. And keep in mind, during January, Las Vegas realtors found more than 27% of all the local property sales were purchased with cash. That's down from 30% a year ago, but well below the March 2013 cash buyer peak. That was nearly 60% of buyers were paying cash.